if that ever played well. On defense, if the ball's going wide, you want to skate down the line of scrimmage, string it out, use all the way, all the field you have to the sideline. They did that, and they made the tackle. Nicely done by the A&M defense. Now, Tim, let's talk about something that we haven't mentioned today. Some of the rule changes, one of them, the hash marks. Now, that has an effect on the speed teams, doesn't it? We saw an effect of it right there. Absolutely. What it does now, it takes away the short side of the field. The defense now can't use that sideline as an advantage like you used to be able to use that guys run guys into the sideline knowing they can only go so far so much space there now the offense has a huge advantage play action Howard still in the game really had no shot on that one tried to hit Eddie Kennison see those A&M guys when they get in that defensive huddle they all hold hands yep I guess that's a sign of unity on the field. Heck, when I was at Maryland, we used to get off the bus holding hands. It was like going to bear hunting with a stick. <laughs> well, in the first half, it wasn't easy for all. Easy at all for Texas A&M. The second half, though, it's been a different story. Split wide to the bottom of the field. He's the intended receiver here, and it's picked off by Ray Mickens. Ray Mickens had a beat on that right from the start. Well, we talked about the turnovers. That's four now for LSU. Boy, that's one thing that they wanted to alleviate. I'm telling you, Curly Holman wanted to get rid of that right now. Lynn Amity came in as the new offensive coordinator. He says we can eliminate turnovers. They had 28 last year, second highest total in the league, and here they have four today. Now the well, Mickens, pick, he played this well. Watch 24. Reading the eyes of the quarterback all the way. Now watch him break on the ball. Poorly thrown. Way overthrown. He better put that hand down and watch out what he's doing. He's making a Heisman pose, it looked like. Tommy Preston now, the backup quarterback in for Corey Pulling. Thomas finds some LSU tacklers. Thomas getting a little cocky down and started to dribble the ball. He was tackled by Lee Williams. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Tommy Preston, 6'3", a 213-pound sophomore. Didn't, didn't see much action last year either. about shaking off the cobwebs. He's a good athlete. Doesn't have quite the finesse that Pullock does. He reminds a lot of Aggie fans of Kevin Murray. He even wears number 14. And he fumbles it and he runs over his own man. And he's down to the 38. That'll be a piece of film that'll get edited next week, won't it? Well, you know what that is? That's two plays in a row where they put the ball on the ground. Bob Toledo, the offensive coordinator, talking to him, trying to settle him down a little bit. Now Bob Toledo has coached some good players as we take another look at this. He's had Bill Musgrave at Oregon, Bucky Richardson, Chris Miller. That's as hard as Thomas has been hit all day. <laughs> 3.48 to play. The ball on the 37. Tommy Preston looking at third and 11. Doesn't have a receiver. And this one is thrown into the turf with a 44. Somebody may have gotten a piece of his arm. Robert Miller was pressuring Preston. Miller did get a piece of it, I believe. The ball was thrown hard at the feet of Ricardo Washington. That ends that drive. You have to think it's got to be important to Curly Hallman to at least get some points on the board here before they call it an afternoon. 24 to nothing A&M with 3.42 to go in the game. We're looking at Eddie Kennison who has yet to really have a good shot at returning one. Like I said. 42 yard punt, nothing on the return. It's all Aggies. We'll be back after this.
lots of ways to work up a deep down thirst. And with eight flavors, there are lots of Gatorade ways to quench it. Today, a woman needs a life insurance plan of her own. State Farm sells life insurance from an agent who's there for you today and there tomorrow too. You see, we start you out right with a plan specifically designed for a woman's needs. One that protects the people who count on you for so very much. And the State Farm agent will be there tomorrow too, as your life changes, to keep that plan working for the people you love. State Farm sells life insurance. Four remaining at Powell Field in Aguilan. AM leading 24 to nothing. Jamie Howard still the quarterback, and I mean he's had some kind of tough day. Five for 24, 61 yards, two interceptions. Well, that says something about the level of commitment to Howard by Curly Harmon. Here's Jermaine Sharp. Sharp about to the 24. Sharp, a freshman from Monroe, Louisiana. Keith Mitchell making the tackle. Whatever LSU hasn't shown, they better get it out now. Doesn't get easier as next week they go to Mississippi State. And speaking of the 12th man tradition, the guy that started that, Jackie Sherrill, with his Mad Dogs down there in Bulldog Country. They're sharp again. Up to the 33. Tackled by Andre Williams. So let's go through the checklist of objectives that LSU have talked about. Uh, they wanted to slow down the blitz. Do you think they've done enough of that today? Yeah, I do think they did that. They accomplished that early in the game. Remember, it was nothing, nothing at the half. The defense played well. I think they did control the blitz and slow it down somewhat. One of the second things they wanted to do was keep AM honest. Now, the other two things they wanted to run outside and they had wanted to get establish a controlled passing game did not do either one of those. Howard couldn't hit the passes, and they couldn't get to the corners. Costly turnovers at key points of the game. Here's Howard looking up top, but comes underneath, and it's incomplete near midfield of the 48 intended for Shedrick Wilson. Tomorrow on ABC Sports, join us for the exciting conclusion of one of the PGA Tour's great traditional events. It's live, final round coverage of the Greater Milwaukee Open. Beginning at 4 Eastern, 3 Central, and Pacific, right here on ABC Sports. Hello to you. Aggie fans all happy this afternoon. Jermaine Sharp. And a slant on the right side out to the 38. Tackled by Reggie Graham. A lot of folks would like to see Jermaine Sharp get a little bit of running room. He's got that 10 2 100 meter speed. They can't get him freed up into the secondary. 2-0-1 to play in the game. Now LSU not having success on the football field today, but I want to mention that 83% of this year's seniors are expected to graduate. Curly Holman has done a fine job with this program in the classroom as well as on the football field. Incomplete almost intercepted at the 40. Chris Hill was the intended receiver. Well, he had Kenny almost had the pick. You're right about that. He has done that, and uh, I think that's a positive because you really you need that in school, obviously. The Curly Holman, as far as football is concerned, had that 2-9 record last year. He's got the two terrific recruiting classes coming in. This really has to hurt him. There's no question. He thought he could give this ball club uh, A&M a, a good battle today, and he did for the first half, but then just wore down. But this is a critical year for his coaching career. 7-15 and 15 in two years at LSU. And uh, that is, as we mentioned earlier, a very tough alum down there, Alumni Association of Police. Yep, they've had four straight losing seasons. And this is the 100th anniversary of LSU football. They would have liked to have teed it off with a more auspicious beginning. 
CFA College Football on ABC Sports has been brought to you by American Honda, who has been making quality cars in America for the past 10 years. By State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. And by the Beef Industry Council and Beef Board. Beef, it's what's for dinner. And you're buying. <laughs> I'm not afraid of going into my pockets. <laughs> Act like you got fish hooks in there. Uh, not exactly deep. As the band plays on at Kyle Field. Don't forget that Monday night right here on ABC beginning at 9 o'clock. One of the best rivalries in all of NFL football. The Redskins and the Cowboys. Don't you dare miss it. Mark Rippin playing with uh, renewed confidence this year. He's got that bounce back in his step. Smiles. Throws very accurately now has had a very good preseason for the Cowboys Troy Aikman back from back surgery and he had two outstanding performances but Emmett Smith's still not there and that's not the same team without him hey the man is not there he wants the money and here is the interception another pick by that defense Dennis Allen with the interception for Texas A&M hey it wasn't a touchdown They'll kiss anyway. That's not part of the tradition, is it? No, uh, that's two fumbles and three interceptions now. Just a tough day. This is the kind of day you got to shake it off and start anew. Five turnovers for the Tigers. As Sonny Jurgensen used to say after interceptions, sometimes those defensive guys are the only ones open. <laughs> Twenty remaining. The second half has been all Texas A&M. Time for Curly Holman to regroup with the troops. Get ready for next week. Well, I like Curly a lot. He's he does have that positive attitude. And there's a class guy right there too. R R C Slocum. Two-time Southwest Conference Coach of the Year. Story of the game this afternoon, Rodney Thomas. As Texas a and goes to the running game again. Andre Williams that time with the carry. You realize Texas A&M has won the Southwest Conference title six of the last nine years? Domination. Talked about Rodney Thomas's performance today, 25 rushes. 201 yards. It's the 11th time an AM back has gone over 200 yards in a game. Tommy Preston still in the game, hands it off. Anthony on the carry. And that'll be the last play of the game. The final score 24 to nothing as the Aggies are successful in their 1993 season debut. Holman and Copeland, R.C. Slocum, a couple of former friends, present friends, <laughs> former coaching mate. Hey, it's just a game, we'll still be friends. Shaking hands. I think both clubs learned a lot about their teams today. Both coaches learned a lot about their teams. LSU will have to go back and regroup, and AM will try to work out the kinks. The Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are from LSU, Torrey James, who had two interceptions, almost had three. And for Texas A&M, no question, no doubt about it, Rodney Thomas, 25 rushes, 201 yards. We'll be back with the thrifty postgame report in a minute. A promotional fee has been paid to ABC Sports by United Airlines. Come enjoy United's renowned international service, non-stop to London's Heathrow from six U.S. cities. Come fly the friendly skies. If you choose to drink alcohol, please be responsible. Drink only in moderation and choose a designated driver who doesn't drink at all. Ever wonder how your favorite stars spend their summer vacation? I love this thing. Make a video with the Olsen twins. 
grab a bite with George Foreman, and ride motocross with Craig T. Nelson. From courtside to seaside, we went on a bike trip. Go behind the scenes with Joe London, how I spent my summer vacation Wednesday. Once there was a cow named Belle, who could sing. She was enchanting to all who heard her. Everyone agreed Belle's singing was superb. And her milk was divine. And to this day, there's a little bell in every bite of Bluebell ice cream. You know, all my life I've worked with the best. So when I needed a new truck, I just naturally went to Mack Hike Ford. I met all the folks at Mack Hike Ford. The body shop, the park department, and the service drive. They got the best Ford team in Texas. And when they explained their price protection guarantee, heck, I knew I was going to get the best price, too. You don't have to be Von Phillips to get the best of Mack Hike Ford. You just have to tell them Von sent you. Gallery Furniture salutes you, the great American worker, with a Made in America Labor Day weekend furniture super sale. Come to Gallery Furniture this Labor Day weekend and save, save, save on furniture made by great American workers just like you right here in America. All Made in America furniture is on sale this Labor Day weekend at Gallery Furniture like the Sealy, Posture, Pedic, and Restonic Premium Sleep Sets. Come to Gallery Furniture's Labor Day weekend super sale. Made in America saves you money. Enjoy dance, theater, and music under the stars. The Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report is brought to you by Thrifty Car Rental, historically known for low rates. From New York, John Saunders. And welcome everyone to the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report. I'm John Saunders. We will get you back out to where Texas A&M has knocked off LSU in a moment. But we have some time, so let's update some scores. Alabama, they started slowly in this one as they did last year against Tulane. Right now, though, 28 to 10. Sherman Williams and Chris Anderson have each run in a couple of uh, touchdowns there. Michigan all over Washington State. Another game being seen uh, in regional action on ABC. 41 to 14. Todd Collins, 19 of 29, 265 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions in his debut as their starting quarterback. Danelle Bennett rushed in a couple of touchdowns for Miami, another ABC game in the fourth quarter now, 23 to nothing all over Boston College. Meanwhile, LSU and Texas A&M, the game you watched here on ABC, 24 to nothing Texas A&M in a game that was scoreless into the third quarter. Corey Pulling, two touchdown passes to Leland McElroy, 26 and 58 yards. You can see AM here next week on ABC. Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, were down 12 to 7 in this game, but they win it 27 to 12 was the final there over Northwestern. Back with more in just a moment on the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report. In the year 23,012 BC, Lenny, the traveling salesman, rented the first big round wheel from Thrifty at a nice small rate. Today you can still get low rates now on cars with four wheels. Simply use your Montgomery Ward credit card at Montgomery Ward Car Rental at participating Thrifty locations. Renting wheels at low prices is nothing new to Thrifty. In fact, we invented it. Thrifty Car Rental, historically known for low rates. This is hydroplaning in less than an inch of water, and they're being pulled by Goodyear all-season Aquatread radials. Aquatread's deep groove design channels water away as you drive for outstanding traction. Hydroplaning, Aquatreading. Think about it. I'm getting older, so I have to push myself just a little bit harder. Introducing a new, hard-working power stick. Now with more odor fighters per stroke than ever. Hey, that's better for me and everybody else. New Power Stick from Fabergé, the most powerful power stick ever. Welcome back. Texas A&M, a shutout winner over LSU. Back out there in a moment. Florida facing Arkansas State. And they struggled early in this one. They have now taken a 10-6 lead with Florida ranked number 8 in the nation. Terry Dean, 35-yard touchdown pass to Jack Jackson there. Nebraska blows out North Texas 76-14. Calvin Jones, 124 yards, two touchdowns. Nebraska used four quarterbacks going through the entire depth chart in this game. Washington and Stanford, 31-14. Another game seen originally here on ABC. Stanford comes in and Washington gets the revenge they wanted against Bill Walsh. Damon Heward, three touchdown passes and he rushed for one as well. Georgia beaten by South Carolina, 23-21 as Brandon Bennett 
with two seconds left in the game, punched it across from one yard out, 23-21 South Carolina gets the win. Penn State, their inaugural game in the Big Ten, they win over Minnesota, 38-20 is the final there. Bobby Engram, four touchdown receptions for Penn State. Rice loses to Ohio State. You can see the Buckeyes next week at 8 o'clock Eastern time. That's a primetime game against Washington. The Buckeyes win 34-7. UNLV at Clemson. Clemson a winner 24-14 was the final there. Patrick Sapp had two touchdown passes in that game. All right, back with more on the Thrifty Colorado Post Game Report in a moment. In the year 23,012 B.C., Lenny, the traveling salesman, rented the first big round wheel from Thrifty at a nice small rate. Today, you can still get low rates now on cars with four wheels. Simply use your Montgomery Ward credit card at Montgomery Ward Car Rental at participating Thrifty locations. Renting wheels at low prices is nothing new to Thrifty. In fact, we invented it. Thrifty Car Rental, historically known for low rates. Tony and Diane get regular insurance checkups, just like they get regular medical checkups. I'm State Farm Agent Carlos Bermudez. I have been their State Farm Agent seven years. A family insurance checkup helps them make sure all their coverages are up to date. It's also a good time to explore options, like how their life insurance plan can be adapted to help with their daughter's college education. I think the family insurance checkup is something everybody can feel good about. State Farm is there. The Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report has been brought to you by Thrifty Car Rental, historically known for low rates. Welcome back once again to New York. We're just about done. Let's first remind you that coming up next week, it will be a triple header. We start at noon Eastern time as the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame face the Michigan Wolverines. Then at 3.30, regional coverage as we have USC, Penn State, Kansas, Michigan State, Texas A&M, Oklahoma, or LSU, Mississippi State. Check your local listings. Then we come back at 8 o'clock Eastern time with a game in prime time. Number 12, Washington, against the Ohio State Buckeyes. That's at 8 o'clock Eastern time, all here on ABC's College Football next Saturday. All right, a few more scores before we leave you here. Kansas State beats New Mexico State 34-10 was the final. As Andre Coleman had a 74-yard punt return for a touchdown in that game. Kansas, they were shut out in their first game, but they come back against Western Carolina and win it 46-3 is the final there. You remember Kansas lost in their opening game to Florida State in there. Elsewhere, Tulsa and Iowa. This one, it was 53 seconds left as Iowa scored the touchdown and then the two-point conversion for the victory, 26 to 25, the final. Nevada and Wisconsin, a big day for Darrell Bevel. Five touchdown passes. That's a Badger record, including a 49-yarder to J.C. Dawkins. Indiana State in Air Force, 63 to 21. Scott Teagan, two touchdown passes and one touchdown run as well as Air Force is back going through the air. Oregon and Colorado State, 23 to 9 is the final there as Tommy Thompson, three field goals in the game from 35, 39, and 21. The Ducks get the win. Oregon State over Wyoming, 27-16. 27 points all coming in the fourth quarter. South Dakota State facing Montana, 38 to 7 there. Montana has turned the ball over, rather right now, 45-41 in the fourth quarter. Montana has the lead despite turning the ball over five times. USC and Houston, this one just getting underway. USC, of course, lost the game earlier to North Carolina. Later tonight, San Diego State and Marshall Falk play as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Saturday on ABC's College Football. Monday on day one. Forget the movie. These are the real-life fugitives. These are the dangerous people. Thousands wanted for robbery, rape, and murder. Walking around free. Why is no one looking for them? Monday on day one. And the season premiere of Monday Night Football. Washington and Dallas. Monday night, hard-hitting television. Football and day one. Coming up next here on Eyewitness News, a plane crash at a Montgomery County airport claims three lives. Police in League City are trying to find out if two young girls were really raped and killed more than three decades ago. And battling drugs and crime in a Houston, North Houston neighborhood. And do you have any books you'd like to donate? Eyewitness News is next. Bob Allen. I just want to get over this feeling that we're never going to win. Ed Fowler. I think this is 
the last chance for this Oilers team. Ralph Cooper. I think we're headed to the Super Bowl. Kenny Hand. I just don't see it happening. i got to be shown it can happen. And you. Their steak bit from Buffalo. <laughs> Originating from the drive-in restaurant, Bob Allen's Tell It Like It Is, Saturday at 6.30, here on 13. If you missed 13 Eyewitness News at 6 p.m. Friday night, you missed a lot of news. Ray Childress, now a happy oiler. I'm very, very happy that it, uh, it worked out. I really am. I'm, I'm regretful that uh, it went through all this long process and whatnot, and, uh, but it's done now, and I'm ready to move on. We were the only station to interview him live. A lot of news happens in the Houston area, and 13 Eyewitness News has the only hour newscast at 6 p.m. 13 Eyewitness News sets the news standard in Houston. You know, all my life I've worked with the best. So when I needed a new truck, I just naturally went to Mack Hike Ford. I met all the folks at Mack Hike Ford. The body shop, the park department, and the service drive. They got the best Ford team in Texas. And when they explained their price protection guarantee, heck, I knew I was going to get the best price, too. You don't have to be Bum Phillips to get the best of Mack Hike Ford. You just have to tell them Bum sent you. James Kahn is gambling with his life. Saturday night at 10.30 on 13. Channel 13, KTRK-TV Houston. We care about Texas. Now, Eyewitness News. With Bob Boudreaux, Minerva to Paris, Tim Melton has sports, and the weather with Frank Billingsley. Now, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And good evening, everyone. Bob Boudreaux and Frank Billingsley have the day off. We start tonight with a fiery plane crash in Montgomery County early this morning that killed a Houston man, his daughter, and son-in-law. A female passenger in the plane, described as a family friend, was somehow able to survive but is critically injured. Eyewitness News reporter Liz Exon has a story. Investigators say 66-year-old Carl Cowan of Houston, his daughter and son-in-law, Glenda and Paul Smith, were killed instantly when they crashed in a small plane shortly after 8 this morning. The three dead and a female passenger, Carol Nordenfelt, had just taken off from the Williams Airport located near Porter in Montgomery County. It appears the plane went straight down after hitting a pine tree. Adjacent to the woods is the home of Oscar and Nelda Reyes. They heard the plane take off. After we heard the popping noise and the crash of the plane, we heard a lady scream, and as we stepped out of the door, that's when we saw the mushroom cloud going up. She was calling a name. Um, I'm not sure. She may have been saying, where are you? Or uh, She was screaming in, in a, a name, and I wasn't real sure what she said. While she called 911, her husband met a deputy, and they went into the woods to find the woman whose voice Reyes had heard. She was talking. She was relatively coherent, considering everything that had gone on. The plane was just completely devastated. She was about, I guess, about 10 yards away from the plane. Carol Nordenfeld, a family friend, was transported by Life Flight to Herman Hospital, where she remains in the burn unit in critical condition. How did the woman survive, do you think? Uh, appears that, that uh, she crawled from the plane. That, uh, she did have some burns on her body, so she was in the plane on impact. Right. Investigators say Cowan, his daughter and son-in-law, were burned beyond recognition. They don't know where the four were heading, but they say there was a lot of fishing gear in the plane. One witness who does not want to be identified says it did not look or sound like a normal takeoff, but it will be up to the National Transportation Safety Board to determine the exact cause crash. In Montgomery County, Liz Exon, 13 Eyewitness News. A Southeast Houston family is in disbelief this evening following the accidental drowning death of a young boy. The drowning happened about 11 this morning in the 4300 block of North McGregor. Authorities say an 11-year-old boy fell into the backyard pool. The child was taken to Bentop Hospital where he died. Investigators say the victim was visiting relatives when the accident happened. The child's name has not been released. And a 22-year-old man who police say tried to steal another man's car was killed early this morning. Jose Ricardo Cortez died at Bentop Hospital shortly after 2 this morning. Police say Cortez and two friends were at a Spring Branch apartment complex on Long Point when one of the tenants drove up in his 1981 Cadillac Eldorado. Cortez allegedly pulled out a gun and demanded the car. The driver of the car pulled out his own gun. The two men struggled and exchanged gunfire. As I said, Cortez died at the hospital. Homicide investigators have referred the case to a grand jury without charges. And League City Police have found themselves in the midst of a bizarre murder case that happened more than 34 years ago. League City investigators say the case came to light two weeks ago when they received a letter from a sexually abused woman. Officials say the unnamed woman was undergoing therapy for her attack when she suddenly remembered about the murders.